gave myself a wolf cut recently and now I wake up looking like this. It's 7am I just woke up and I looked at myself in the mirror and I thought I need to do something about this. I need to sit in front of the camera and show them what I look like and uh, show them what I'd like to look like. I found this video on YouTube. This is a Japanese hairdresser and uh, he's made a video tutorial on how to style a wolf cut. Now in my attempt to find a how to style a wolf cut video, I looked at quite a few and I think there's a reason that his one has a million views. His video is very, very informative and the styling turns out impeccable. So uh, the first thing that they do in this video, uh, the hair is wet and he blow dries it as part of the styling process. So I'm gonna go jump in the shower now, torture my hair some more with a bit more head and shoulders. Why am I doing that? Well, I'm trying to get my hair as washed out as possible so I can move on to the next color. <laughs> All right, I'm showered, hair is washed. I am ready to commence the styling. And I really hope this works out well because I've never been able to style my own hair. And now that it's shorter, surely it will be easier than ever. I suppose the easiest it will ever be for me is uh, if I just shave it off, which is always very, very tempting. But let's see if I can negotiate with my hair today and let's see if I can style it so that I don't have to cut it all off. Brush, calling Ayala dryer. First step, blow dry. How am I supposed to do that from... So... Really? How am I gonna do that from back here, really? He's so cute. I'm going to use the brush. You know, what I am absolutely loving about having this short hair is how quickly it dries. It used to take me a good half hour to blow dry my hair, not even fully dry. And then I'd give up because my arms would be too sore. I don't need to work out in the gym. I just need to blow dry my hair. He said, we will do the blow dry downwards when it's getting to 40%. Okay, is this 40%? How, how does one measure the percentage of dryness of hair? I feel like now this part is 80% dry, so I've already made a mistake. This is exhausting. Oh no. I put this here for a reason. Heat protecting balm. Heck. Surely it's not too late. My hair is only 40% dry. I can save the other 60%. Now we have one point of advice. Blow dry the top section like this because the top section gets dry and fluffy. Okay. Wow, it looks so amazing finished. Oh my Lord, damn. That's a beautiful floating head. My hand is cramping. Oh. oh no, my fringe just suddenly has a mind of its own. You know what? I'm just gonna trust the process. Lower part, upper part, lower part, upper part. I need hair clips. You didn't tell me that at the start. I feel betrayed. A problem I am noticing is that his uh, mannequin's hair there is sitting nice and flat. Uh, mine is doing a bit of a sideshow bob. This is something I will forever struggle with. Dividing my hair, impossible. I'm going to write a book, how to part hair for dummies. He's using one of these little fine combs and he's brushing and then, hang on, I need to watch this technique closely. <laughs> Replay, oh good, good. So he very gently places it on, pulls it down and then brings it up. Did that work? That didn't work. One, two, three. Ah, nice, okay. I'm seeing a slight problem in that uh, when he was doing it, he's able to actually get the hair very flat and make the whole sort of flat thing curl, like all of it, like a, like a nice wave. But for me, I'm awkwardly twisting and so my hair is twisting. So it's, a twisted curl. I think I'm, I'm gonna try this one more time. If I can find my comb, I just had it. You know what this is all seeming like? And I'm starting to understand why it is that when you go to the hair salon, your hair looks so much better than when you do it yourself. It's all about angles, isn't it? It's all about the angle that you curl your hair on or the direction that you blow dry it in. Because for me, I can't actually 
put my hand on that sort of angle to get this nice kind of straight curl. Okay, how about from this direction? Okay, yep, yeah, from this direction. Boom. And if I just kind of hold it straight like this, one, two, three, Giving up sounds mighty nice right now. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Maybe my curling iron's not high enough. I'm just gonna put it on the very highest setting. Okay, you know what? Maybe instead of waiting three seconds, I'll wait five. You know what? I think that's as good as it's gonna get as far as a curl goes. Finally, we have a curl. Okay, more power, more heat, longer time. Look how it's it's doing a, a it's good. Not meant to do that. No, oh, it's meant to be this way. No, stop point point that way. And now this side's gone flat. <laughs> I hate this. It's all very well for you people to leave comments and say, girl, style your hair. If it wasn't so damn difficult, maybe I would. There's other things I could be doing right now. I could be playing with my bird. I could be in my garden planting hydrangeas. It's such a waste of life to style hair. I hate this. It just feels like such a waste of time. All for what? Just to, to look slightly better? I don't care what I look like. I just want to be happy. That's a lie. I do care what I look like. C figure A. Well, folks, I think this is as good as it's going to get. So let's move on to the next layer. That is a very creepy thing in the corner there. It's like the star of a horror movie. It shall henceforth be known as Gothic Annabelle. Okay, I see. All right, you know, I really appreciate his close-ups. I can see the direction he's got the curling iron in. So before he was holding it like this with the claspy thing down, but now he's putting the claspy thing on. Oh my God, I almost just, I was this close to my eyebrow. So he's got the claspy thing up this way and he's pulling it downwards. He's simply just doing this. Well, hey, there we go, finally. <laughs> I deserved a win. I finally got one. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, well, I spoke too soon. What on earth? How did I manage that? It's okay. Oh, it's okay, is it? No, I, I hate to <laughs> be a bother, but no, it's not okay. Have you ever tried curling your hair with a flat iron and had success? Because if you have, you're a superhuman. It's physically impossible. I would spend three hours trying and still not succeed. So I, I'm not even gonna bother. We pull all the top section to the front. We must put on heat to the hair well. Be careful with burn. <laughs> Ow, I was not careful with burn. Great success. I'm not feeling so good about this. Hair styling. Look how much out curl he has. I think before I do this styling wax, I need to go back to the drawing board and do some more out curl. I'm gonna go try to steal some styling wax from my husband. Oh my God, it's blue. What? It's blue. Why is it blue? No, no, it's not blue, it's clear. Why does it look blue? Bizarre. He said to Put it on the flicking out parts first. Am I applying this right? Hang on. Oh no, okay, he's doing it like that. Uh huh. On the upper part, he's scrunching it. Okay. Oh, he says, don't do this. Do this. All right. We do making a mess, fix one's hair. Oh God, yep, that's something I need help with. It looks like it's getting there, isn't it? I don't think so. You great work. Really? This doesn't seem like great work. How about 
do a bit more of this paste and do a little bit more of the scrunching. I feel like at least with the wolf cut, even though most people would say that messy hair is not styled, at least the messier it looks, the more styled it looks, right? Maybe the wolf cut is the perfect hairstyle for me because it's no maintenance. It's just mess up your hair as much as you physically can and call it fashion. You know what? I know that he curled the mannequin's hair downwards. He kind of pulled it in a downwards direction at the front, but I kind of think it needs to go upwards, up and back. Like that. Ah yes, flawless. All right, hear me out here. Then maybe if I brush it down like this. I really thought that would be better. All right, well, uh, that's my very first attempt at styling my wolf cut. It's an improvement, I suppose you could say. It's, it's obviously better than just getting out of the shower and just leaving it, I suppose. But that was a lot of work. That took me an hour. If I have to do that every day, there's so many other things in my life I'd rather do with that seven hours. So don't expect to see my hair like this too often. I'm gonna go put on some makeup, maybe play around with the styling wax a little bit more and try to sort of perfect it. Cause I do feel like the more that I do it, the easier it'll get, the more that I'll understand my hair and the way that it flicks. So once I get over the learning curve, perhaps I will have a flawless wolf cut. But for now, hopefully this will do with a full face of makeup. And when I say full face of makeup, I just mean eyes and blush because I just wasted an hour on my hair. I don't have time for foundation. <laughs> so here it is. Here's the hairstyle, fully styled. And uh, uh, okay, yeah, you know what? I admit, I admit to those of you that have begged me to please style my hair, I now understand why. <laughs> it definitely looks a lot nicer styled. Obviously, I haven't figured out exactly how to style it properly yet. I think that I need to do multiple more attempts uh, of watching that video, maybe watching it in slow motion. <laughs> but I reckon once I've done it enough, I'll get faster, it'll become easier. I'll build up some muscles in my arms because I'm a weak little I will eventually get to a point where I'll be able to style my wolf cut and wear it with pride instead of confusion and horror. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is the very first time I've ever posted a video about styling my hair. I've done a lot of hair dyeing, but uh, the first time I've styled it. So if you enjoyed the hair styling video, please give me a like and uh, I might just need to make some more. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah!